more doctors smoke camels than any other cigarette. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Bavarians is for your man and you too. That you say? No boulder dash or baloney here. Cheers, everyone, and welcome to the Unfiltered Gentlemen. And now, breaking the seal all over the finer things of life, Greg Scott and Dan. Consider it broken. Yes. Welcome in, everybody. It's the Unfiltered Gentlemen. Thanks for listening. Thanks for joining along and listening to our little podcast. I'm Greg. That is Scott. What's going on? And that's Dan. Hey, hey, hey. And Scott's being joined by the uh, Marty the Beer Pup over the there. Famous Marty. Yeah. Who Marty the Beer Dog. Very much falling asleep on his <laughs> lap. <laughs> like most of you have already. Right. Yeah. He's, he's part of the audience. Uh, thanks, everyone, for listening. Uh, shout out to Colorado Springs. Wow. Oh, snaps. They're in Colorado. Thanks for being our top listeners last week. Uh, by the way, don't forget to hashtag show us your beers and tag us as well when you're putting your beer pictures up on the social medias and if it's a set of nice cans. Oh, yeah. <laughs> everyone likes good beer art. Hashtag cans for cans. Yes. Yes. Uh, rate and subscribe on iTunes, Apple Podcasts, any other way to get your podcast. It helps people find the show. It's weird that way. And uh, Burp Word of the Week is drunk driving. Oh, boy. Drunk <laughs> driving. Uh, we'll get to that in a little bit. What else? Oh, before we move on to things, I must uh, report that last week, after the show <laughs> went off the air, we all sucked it up yep. and sucked it down. No one poured out that sour ass oh, beer. Nobody did. No, it was close. Yeah, it was close. Some of us had to eat some things to <laughs> to cleanse the palate. I was Drink one of them. Like men. Yeah, I was some of us were drinking by the sink. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just in case. Yeah. We st- drink that Sharpie beer. Yeah, my stomach was a little, uh, little bubbly <laughs> afterwards. Hey, yeah, man, get the bubble guts. <laughs> yeah, the sour shits are a real thing. <laughs> Ask uh, Big Nick Nick from Boozley; League. he'll tell you all about them. <laughs> uh, all right, so let's let's move on and stop talking about that horrendous beer we had last week, and let's start telling you about an extremely delicious beer. Grab your libations, pals! It's time for beer of the week. And if you're drinking well, you know that you're my friend And I say, I think I'll have myself a beer Yes, we will. I'm looking around the room at the faces. They're much happier than last week. Yes. We are drinking Russian Rivers Happy Hops. Oh, man, this is good stuff. This is good stuff. I'm very happy. <laughs> 6.5% 50 IBUs, 4.11 on Beer Advocate, 3.84 on Untapped. Mm. Happy Hops was originally brewed by the Grace Brothers Brewery in 1944, right here in Santa Rosa. Their brewery went out of business in the 1960s, but we wanted to resurrect Happy and a new fun beer for him to enjoy. It's also a way for us to pay homage to the Grace family and their brewing pioneer history. Happy Hops is an incredibly hoppy India Pale Ale with an immense hop aroma and flavor and a mild bitterness. I get behind all that. The, it's not high in the bitterness. Uh, 50 IBUs. The flavor is nice and smooth and, and pretty balanced, but you really get some dankness on the nose. Yeah, Definitely. for sure. Yeah. yeah, you can taste that like right away. Mm-hmm. It's very welcome. Yes. Yeah. It's a nice little welcome treat after what we ended on last yeah, week. Hey, this is, this is awesome. Mm-hmm. Way to start off the show. <laughs> Starting off happy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you get a little, little bit of dank, a little bit of pine on the tongue, uh, a little bit of a... Uh, I don't know, like a passion fruit type of flavor, maybe? Yeah, I'll co-sign that. Yeah, it's really good, but it's not, there's nothing in your face, you know, it's not like plain no. or something like that from Russian River. It's, it's just real smooth, and you could just drink this all day. Yeah. One might call this a dangerous 6.5%. For sure. Sh- <laughs> oh, shit. <Uh-oh. laughs> I mean, well, 6.5%, not a lot. Yeah, but you don't taste none of that. No, when this it goes is delicious. Down, yeah, it goes down that easy. I don't know, Scott, this or the sour? Oh, this. <laughs> Let me think about it a minute. Hold on. Wait a minute. Yeah. Uh, okay, this. All okay, right. fair enough. Uh, yeah, this is really good, and I was lucky enough to get my hands on this. There's a, a local place that was uh, selling this along with some other Russian River stuff, and a friend of the show, Brian, tipped me off. I was like, dude, you got to get over there like ASAP. You know, th- there's a two bottle per person max. Wow. And they had three different Russian Rivers, uh, this Pliny and Blind Pig, and jumped on it, and uh, delicious. Yeah, very, very much enjoy this. So, 
Uh, all right, we got a lot to get to today. Crotch talk. Quick question. Yes. Was this locally you got this? Yes. Oh, okay. I did get this locally. Uh, they ran out the night they released it. Wow. <laughs> yeah. I can understand. Yeah. yeah. It, it's a brand new one from Russian River, so people are, are clamoring yeah. for it. So Wow. Uh, yeah. We have it right here in our glasses. Mm-hmm. We're that cool. <laughs> Suck it, everyone else. Uh, let us know if you found it anywhere. We need we need help. Um, yeah, Dan's got a movie review to talk right. about. Uh, uh, our friend Elvia has a uh, new segment about the new DUI laws for 2018, ooh. especially here in California. Uh, we have a Tales from Uber, some booze news, and of course, all the other goods to go to. So uh, let's start things off with some crotch talk. Have a grievance to share? It's time for a crotch talk. Uh, a couple of things I wanted to mention. First, I was at uh, Fig Mountain Brewery in Westlake Village, California, and had ourselves a couple of really tasty beers, and we're walking to the parking lot, and we look over, and there's these two old people in the parking lot just going at it, just making out, not even in their car, like standing outside their car, you, just uh, sucking face. How oh old are we talking about? Uh, I mean... 30? Yeah, <laughs> they're just least, Madison County old? <laughs> at least 32. Oh. Uh, no, they, were, they looked like they were... Probably well into their fifties, oh, if not more. Man, come on, and like getting each other's teeth in their mouth. Right? Yeah, yeah, they they had their dentures out oh, and everything. Lord. No, it was just weird though because clearly they're of age to where at least one of them's not homeless. <laughs> you could go home and like have a bedroom <laughs> and you know do things. Instead, you're going to stand in a parking lot where it was. Fr- it's like 38 degrees out. It's oh, freezing. Lord. Oh, maybe they're old that. scumbags. Maybe they're like cheating on somebody. Maybe, yeah. Maybe they're cheating on their significance or yeah. something. Yeah. Because it's like go or or go in the back seat. Yeah. Why are you standing outside, you weirdos? Yeah, it's too cold. Yeah, too cold to kiss. Too cold. Yeah. You're old enough to have a fucking house. Yep. Just go. Use Just go it. to sleep, please. Please <laughs> go to sleep. Uh, what else? Um. Uh, oh, I went up to Paso Robles. Over the New Year's little uh, break there, the lady and I are looking for wedding venues to get married at. What? Uh, and good, gotcha. So, so these places you can't even step on property without spending ten grand. Ooh. Like you want to get married, ten grand. Oh, you want food and tables and chairs? <laughs> That'll be more. <laughs> oh my god! We, you know, the funny thing is, like, we contacted a few wineries that we like up there. And some of them, one of the first questions, she would ask them, like, hey, you know, like, what are your, your fees and blah, blah, blah. Also, do you allow us to bring outside beer? We all we know that the winery is not going to let you bring other wine on site. That makes sense. Right. But the big question is, do you allow us to bring on uh, outside beer, especially craft beer? That's very important to us. And some have said, like, nope, wine only. <laughs> and we haven't returned their emails. Like, okay. we've literally not gone to places that won't let us bring beer. In other places, it's like, yeah, you can, but it's like a $200 fee. Ooh. Like, what? Some of them, you just have to go through their distributor for legal reasons. All right, fine. Um, so we've been doing a lot of research into that. It's such a pain in the ass. It's so... I know I complained a few weeks ago how expensive like the whole wedding thing is. Good God, is it expensive. Yeah. It's ridiculous. Like, as soon as you tell them it's a wedding, it's like, oh, this was going to cost like $2,000. All of a sudden, it's $10,000. Oh, do you yeah. get extra things? Nope. It's a wedding. Yep. <laughs> It's it's so insane. True that. Um, somebody was like, "Yeah, we can do catering really cheap for only like seventy seventy five dollars per person." I was like, "That's cheap, seventy five dollars <laughs> per person." <laughs> oh my god! And they keep asking, "Here we go." A, what's your date? We don't know. We don't care. We just want to find a cool place to do it. And B, like, how many people are you going to have? Or like eighty tops. And like, oh, why such a small wedding? I was like, small. That's eighty fucking people we got to feed. <laughs> right. Good lord, that is not small. And if it's like seventy five dollars a person. That's a lot of money to feed a bunch of people we don't like. Exactly. <laughs> so I keep trying to get her to go elope. I had her for like a couple of days. She's yeah. like, you know, that doesn't sound so bad. And I was like, we go to a really nice place. You know, like the San Francisco courthouse is gorgeous. It's great architecture. I was like, we go up there and do it. Nobody will know. We'll get the tax breaks. I don't have to pay for a bunch of people to eat and drink. Exactly. I can pay for you to eat and drink. You can drink <laughs> as much as you want. It'll be great. <laughs> Almost had her. Yeah. There was a couple of days where like she kind of considered it and, uh, no, not as of late. As of late, it's like, no, we need our family. And I mean, I was like, why? Yeah. Just buy her a couple of little Sharpie beers. And- yeah. There you <laughs> go. Take her to Vegas. Yeah. That's what I'm talking yeah. about. Yeah, Triple H style. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> that, was a, that was a deep pull for any of you wrestling fans out there. <laughs> <laughs> Google oh, it. Mm-hmm. Wasn't she dating Test at the time? Or yeah, I believe like so. That? Oh, my God. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Oh, my God. They made Test watch it on the uh, yep. Titan Tron. I can't believe and it. And he yeah. had her all to herself. Yeah. 
to yeah. do reverse pedigrees too. <laughs> <laughs> reverse pedigrees. So. Um, good news that came out of going to Paso, I guess. When you're looking to get married and people want your ten thousand dollars to to jerk off on their lands, <laughs> they want to give you free wine. So that's not. They're like, hey, yeah, come on over, check out the site. We'll do a tasting. It's like you know, because if you're going to use their wine, you know, be forced to use their wine. I guess you should know if you like it or not. So it's like, oh yeah, we'll we'll do a flight of everything we have. It's like, oh shit, we just start telling people we're coming to check out their sites just to get free booze out of it. I might try that. Yeah, we did. <laughs> we did a few more places that we hadn't planned on just because we wanted to see if they give us free wine. So <laughs> that was that wasn't so bad. Cool. Yeah. Uh, did get stopped in at Earth and Fire and, and uh, had Nolan's version of the Resilience IPA, which we had on the show last week. So that was kind of cool. A little different, just like mm-hmm. we were saying. Like, everyone's a little different. So that was fun. Uh, I think that's about it for the excitement. I already mentioned the fact that I interviewed Steve from Slow Brewing, which uh, should be coming out uh, pretty shortly here. That was a pretty fun interview. So, yeah, that was uh, that was my Paso trip, which I, which I always... It did rain, like, the last day there, which... It's always fun when it rains and you have a dog with you, <laughs> the dog who's now waking up. <laughs> He's stirring. <laughs> He's stirring down there. Did you call me? Yeah. You have beer for me? So, <laughs> uh, Anybody else have any grievances to share? No. That's fair. No. Everyone had a good week? Yeah. Glad to hear it. Uh, all right. Well, in that case, Dan's got a movie to share. Okay. <laughs> have you seen the latest moving picture? Let's talk movies for guys. All right. So uh, the movie I watched is called Aterrados, and that's uh, A-T-E-R-R-A-D-O-S. Okay. That's, uh, that's how you spell it if you need to look for it. It's Spanish for terrified. <gasps> ah. Yeah, so it's a uh, Argentinian horror movie. So I don't know. I never just shook off that whole uh, Halloween thing, man. I've just been <laughs> on this like murder kick just watching all these like crazy movies. So, um, Isn't Argentina? Don't, doesn't Argentina speak Portuguese? Oh, wait, that's Brazil. Huh? Yeah, that's Brazil. Sorry, sorry. No. Hey, well, you know, they're in that same area. They're close. It's I, South thought, I, I imagine there's probably some areas yeah. that probably speak it. To they're be both honest like here. tropical and shit. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, continue. No, you're good. <laughs> so, uh, th- yeah, that movie. Uh, this movie is a movie I found. It's on, uh, I believe you can stream it like on that Shutter. Um, oh, streaming. yeah. Streaming, yeah. And that's the way I watched it. You know, I, I didn't use Cody or Ooh, you know any kind of fire stick. legally yeah exactly Ooh, wow. you, you don't want to do that man i mean look at hollywood like spends oh, wow. like <laughs> all this money and time and effort to bring you classics like the meg and uh <laughs> the possession of hannah grace you know the least you could do is shell out your hard-earned money right yeah so um so i did watch this movie i believe there's probably some other ways you can watch but however you can watch it watch the fucking movie that good oh yeah this, I, this is like horror for me, horror movies, is, it's kind of hard for me to like like movies. And I'm starting to learn that independent or foreign is kind of the way to go. It mm. seems like Hollywood fucks it up so <laughs> bad. And, you know, like I said, the last review I did was for The Possession of Hannah Grace, which was right. an awful, awful, <laughs> right. terribly awful horror movie. Uh, this movie is uh, it's uh, Argentinian independent and it's... Um, it's it's like the best way I think I can describe it is it's like uh, Insidious or like Poltergeist but like a Spanish version, and it's it's like those movies in the sense where it's like uh, the neighborhood uh, or a house or you know just the surrounding neighborhood area mm-hmm. is being like like haunted, and there's all kinds of weird shit happening, and then so they need these uh, you know paranormal you know uh, specialists to go in and they start just kind of living around in the houses that are affected. And they're seeing all this crazy shit happen. Um, so one scene that was really crazy that I liked in the movie was uh, some kid, like I think, was like looking at one of the houses, and the guy's like, "Hey, get out of here! This house is, you know, messed up. You know, you don't want to." I think he was drinking water. He's like, "Don't drink the water!" And the kid's like backing up, like, "What the fuck is wrong with you?" Gets hit by a fucking bus. Mm-hmm. I was like, "Holy shit!" I hate when that happens. <laughs> Didn't see that coming. Yeah, so you know, here's this thing. I was like, "God damn!" You know, they killed the kid or whatever. <laughs> you know, any movie that kills kids, I got to say, it gets a plus for me. <laughs> yeah. You know, you ever see a kid in a movie and you know they're gonna fucking live because they're not gonna <laughs> kill the fucking kid just because they're a kid. Exactly. It's like, oh no, not little Trevor or whatever. <laughs> You're it's right. Like, oh fuck, he's gonna make that forty foot jump. He's not gonna die. You know, and it's like. <laughs> It's ridiculous. <laughs> this movie, the kid fucking died like right away. I was like, this is awesome. Um, <laughs> they do a funeral for the kid. And I guess what happens is um, 
they they uh the police show up at the house where the kid had died and the mom is like you know like you know saying prayers or something like that and they're like what the fuck got into her they walk into the kitchen and at the kitchen table the kid is sitting there oh, jesus and he's not moving so they're thinking oh she dug him up right or something and they're like they're talking amongst each other like you know in spanish obviously and then the, like there was a glass of milk for the kid and it drops like because they weren't paying attention to him and it falls it's like did he just fucking move <laughs> like it's like Jeez. yeah so it, it's lots of shit like that um you know that it's it's a really good movie uh i i, I the, the last good movie i saw like this was, was probably the Baba Duke that came out in 2016 okay so i mean I, these movies are few and far between for me at least as far as like scary movies and um yeah strongly recommend this movie it was it was awesome nice so you definitely drink along oh with yeah it. drinking along with no this question. movie right along with it was it uh english y- yeah it's spanish but it's got uh english uh dubbed oh okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. okay or subtitles excuse me oh subtitles yeah so subtitles. you gotta learn how to read you do, yeah oh, you do have God. to read it a little scott's bit. out you yeah. can't get too drunk Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so just kind of along the movie thing did you guys anybody ever see aquaman no no well did you watch it? Well, <laughs> over, have a over the holidays, the wife and I went to the theater to see it, mm-hmm. and she watched it. Oh. <laughs> you slept through it? Yeah, I pretty much slept through it. Was it that good, or were you that drunk? Um, I think it was good, and uh, just like- <laughs> It was rough. so good, you slept through it? <laughs> yeah, I, I, most people like it, <laughs> and I might have to go see it again. I don't know. Maybe I would. I don't know. <laughs> That's not a good I just, start. I was just tired. I just- yeah, that's an excuse I heard too about someone. Someone said they went to go watch the new Harry, uh, excuse me, Mary Poppins movie or oh, something. Yeah. I was like, I was like humoring her. I'm like, well, how was it? She's like, oh, I love the movie, blah blah blah. And then like someone was like next to us. She's, I guess she went to the movie with her, <laughs> and she's like, didn't you fall asleep through it? <laughs> it's like, well, at one point I, I was really tired though. I'm like, okay, that's not a good start. I feel like yeah. a movie should. Like, but I do that a lot. It's not the shitty fold. movie's fault. <laughs> yeah. No, no, I, I sleep a lot during movies oh, okay. it's just because the theater we go to you know it's got the reclining chairs oh yeah, yeah. and I, w- I don't recline because I no, if I recline I'll go to sleep oh that's me too the wife yeah. is like just recline relax yeah okay you know yeah. here we go naps are cheaper you know, at like, home yeah, yeah it's just I'm out well yeah. I gotta say like yeah this movie isn't a movie that you can sleep through like it's gonna be hard to probably sleep say, or sleep after yeah at some point yeah because <laughs> yeah. it's just like there's not a lot of jump scares I mean it's a little there's a horror movie you know they want to scare people a right, little there's gonna bit, be but, something yeah but it's it's all creepy visuals it's all like you know things like th- there's a scene in the first 10 minutes that hooks you and it's like I'd never seen anything like that before and it was just something I'll always remember like from that movie it was crazy nice you know i meant to ask you and i forgot no last week uh do you watch any good holiday movies <laughs> oh yeah of course i did <laughs> would you watch i watched santa slay <laughs> that's the goldberg order right? yeah exactly <laughs> santa slay with goldberg is a murderous santa just killing everybody <laughs> was he hawking any dodges <laughs> <laughs> no but i did see that commercial too and i think it was during the movie like i it came out on sci-fi okay yeah so i was watching it there and then there was a commercial you know while this murderous goldberg santa is killing everybody right. and they got him in a dodge charger or challenger or whatever <laughs> right. And he's it's it's Goldberg is Santa Claus. So I'm like, is this the evil Santa? Like, is, he is this getting... the connection you want to make to your cars? Exactly. Well, it's funny. I've never seen the movie, uh-huh. but I saw the commercial. I was like, Goldberg <laughs> as Santa. Right. Are you sure you want to make this connection? <laughs> like, you've clearly never seen or heard of the movie. Right. Otherwise, you would have never made him your Santa for the commercial. Right. I mean, I get the the choice to put him in a car commercial. He's a huge car nut and all that stuff, and that makes sense. But. Why dress him as Santa? Right. Doesn't That's make any a little sense. Weird. I think he's had two previous encounters with Santa. One, was, I think the first was on the man show where he actually kills the guy. Oh, jeez. <laughs> yeah. I don't remember that. Santa <laughs> drops down into the chimney and sees like, ho, oh, oh, ho, holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> Goldberg just kicks the shit out of him, you know, because he's Jewish. Right. And then so the, the second time, obviously, is Santa slain. Now there's this third time where apparently they said, yeah, we love your interactions with Santa and we want you to portray him <laughs> once again. Right. Unbelievable. Oh, uh, leave it to marketers. <laughs> oh, geez. All right, good. Uh, like we said before, we have some new DUI laws in California. Oh, oh. And resident lawyer uh, Elvia is going to tell you how not to get a DUI. She's on my speed dial. Oh, yeah. Number one, two, and three. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Here we go. Here's, here's Elvia with the new laws in California. 
Hi guys, and happy new year! And with this new year, there's a new DUI law, so I'm here to tell you a little bit about this. Just before I start, with the DUI, there's two components of it. There's the DMV hearing, and then there is the criminal proceedings in criminal court. So this new law affects the DMV proceedings. Prior to January 1st, 2019, a DUI offender had a mandatory 30-day license suspension. And then after that, you could petition to install a breathalyzer or something like that so you can have a restricted license. This new law eliminates the 30-day mandatory license suspension, and you will be allowed to install a breathalyzer immediately. The bad part is that the breathalyzer will need to remain on your vehicle for at least a period of six months. It really depends on your alcohol content, and that's the DMV aspect of it. The court can also go ahead and impose the breathalyzer to be installed on their own part if they want to. Basically, it just means that the people that are convicted of DUI will be able to keep your uh, full driving privileges so long as you install the breathalyzer. It is optional in Ventura County, but it's mandatory in LA, Sacramento, Alameda, and Tulare County. So, notwithstanding, uh, you know, even you will still have to go ahead and do the DUI class and do the SR22, the proof of insurance. But now you'll be able to drive immediately, but you have to have a breathalyzer. So. And obviously that costs money. Um, I believe it's about sixty to eighty-five dollars per month, and then there's going to be an installation fee as well. So it's supposed to deter those people that you know get a DUI and still go ahead and say, "Hey, I'm going to go ahead and drive." Now you're going to have to be subject to a breathalyzer. So there's a lot of other things that go into this law. There's exceptions. There's depending on what kind of DUI, depending on the alcohol content. If you are under 21, if you do a refusal. So there's a lot of things that I can't cover here. But I just want to let you guys know. So just be out there and be careful. And if you can't stop drinking and driving, and you get yourself into some trouble, you can give me a call. Thank you. Scott's like, all right, okay, good to know. Yeah. Those those breathalyzer things will fuck up your car too. Yeah. Yep. So everybody that I've known that has them, not that I know lots of people with breathalyzers in their car, yeah. talks about like how their cars don't start once they get them installed. And like beyond the whole being drunk, like even if the breathalyzer's working and they're not drunk, like their cars won't start. And even when they get them removed, like it's still fucked up. So interesting. That alone to me is worth it uh, to call an Uber and let Scott take the fall for you. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No problem. Yes. Scott and Uber. Scott and Uber. Yes. <laughs> yeah, take the fall. Yeah, that's yeah. Of course. Let him be the drunk driver. <laughs> He'll do it gladly. That's what I'm here for. Exactly. I even had a, a friend who had that, and he said even certain foods it would not. Oh, for reals? Allow your car to start. Yeah. Oh, jeez. What a pain in the ass. Yeah. Right. I bet if you had one of those sour beers from last week when it started oh, for a month. <laughs> Sir, have you been drinking Sharpie? <laughs> I don't think it would recognize Sharpie. Maybe you could drink that and get away with it. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Oh, get good. drunk off some Sharpie beer. Yeah, somebody with a breathalyzer, let us know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe even fill your tank up with gas or something. You're right, yeah, just throw up in your gas oh tank. Oh, my God. <laughs> Jesus. So uh, I, I asked Elvia for this because I wanted to know the basics of the new law, and then I told her, I said, please promote yourself and give out your phone number. Definitely, yeah. And uh, she didn't. So against possibly her wishes, I don't know, if you guys are in Southern California and you, uh, you need some help, 805-965-3703, 965-3703, uh, put that on speed dial like Scott <laughs> Definitely And so. what's your personal number again? Yeah. <laughs> and you can slide into her address Slide into her DMs <laughs> Yeah <laughs> As the kids are saying So and The uh, kids Yeah So it's good to know uh, Alright what else do we got? Ooh We have the old timey word of the week This week is Fribble mm. Fribble A trifler Idler Good for nothing fella Wow So stop being such a fribble Hmm. Whatever that means, I, fribble, I, huh? Yeah. It doesn't really uh, good for nothing. It doesn't illustrate what the meaning of the not word. Not really. No, I hear it a lot, but I. <laughs> <laughs> you don't say it and go, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you don't really get that. So uh, all right, well, fribble. We'll work on that. Uh, someone who's not fribble. Oh no. No one could blame you for bed swerving. It's time for beer, babe, of the week. Our beer babe of the week this week, her name is Ariane. Damn. <laughs> We're on a roll over here. <laughs> <laughs> and you can find her on the grams at pretty, pretty, excuse me, not pretty, <laughs> pretty hops, pretty underscore hops, pretty hops. And uh, I can't quite tell what she, Tania well, she, she Creek. She is pretty. Yeah. <laughs> and hoppy. Uh, she's <laughs> drinking a Tania Creek, which I don't know what that is. 
Hop Ride IPA. Anyways, go give her a follow on the Instagrams at pretty underscore hops. And don't do the stupid bird box challenge while you're <laughs> come on while you're looking. We, we talked about this yeah, last week. That's week's. right. Oh no, God. no bird box. No way to get laid. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Because you maybe you're you know, doing the wrong <laughs> gender or something. Uh huh. I mean, you don't know. <laughs> you oh, want a bird box the blindfold? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh man. You don't, you don't want to get mixed up. Want to get in the wrong bird box? Take that box. blindfold off and oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That'd be bad news. Uh, all right. Scott's got a tales from Uber for us. Does your cabbie make you queasy? <gasps> it's Tales from Uber. Yeah, this is just a brief one. Um, I talked about a couple of months ago, uh, the some asshole I picked up in Ventura. <laughs> he wanted to go to Del Taco. We ended up in Carl's mm. Jr. Oh, yeah. Or, oh, like one was closed. He had to go to the what, next or something. Right, right. And the guy was just like a total Wasn't dick he just the whole like time. standing there what you pulled up to him right like, yeah, exactly that okay okay so if you don't remember just listen to one of our previous shows you'll find out anywho uh i got a call yesterday to pick somebody up mm-hmm. and i you know didn't recognize a name because you know people you know you don't recognize names right but then i got a call and i <laughs> answered the phone and i'm like hello nothing hello Nothing. I'm so, in the house. <laughs> so I'm like, hello, can I help you? And then some drunk voice says, of course you can help me. You're my ride. I'm, I'm, you're, I'm giving you a ride. And I recognize the voice right away. Oh, Is this shit. idiot? And I'm mm-hmm. like, actually, I think I'm giving you a ride. <laughs> and he goes, and, uh, and then the, there was nothing after that. And so uh, finally I'm, I'm, I'm trying to find him because the location was kind of vague. Right. And uh, so I'm like, okay, so where are you? And he said, his response was, well, check your app. You'll find out where I'm at. Oh, what a oh, fucking geez. smart ass. Oh, yeah. And I said, I know where you're at. You're canceled. And I canceled and hung up on him. <laughs> I did not want to deal with this guy again. No, you should have said, the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> if only Dan was with me. I know. That's right. You just need to have Dan on your soundboard. Yeah, I'm that's right. Taking yeah. my rides with me from now on. Yeah, yeah. You know your horn when you pick up people. It should just be <laughs> boop boop be doop. <laughs> <laughs> Who needs the Duke's of Hazard horn when you got boop boop be doop? That'd be a good horn. <laughs> that would be a good. <laughs> horn. It would. Yeah. <laughs> oh god, what a dick he is. What? I mean, some people just shouldn't drink. They become assholes. Maybe he's an asshole when he's sober. I don't know. Nah. Usually but, that's how it works. You're probably not, right. Yeah. You're probably not the first person that's denied that guy some sort of service. I, I'm, <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm beginning to think. Yeah. yeah, I'd say that's pretty accurate. He's like, oh shit, it happened to me again. <laughs> I keep meeting assholes. <laughs> <laughs> Why is everybody such an asshole? <laughs> yeah. Certainly not me. Oh Jesus! All right, well, people that should be drinking is us. Beer. Oh, yes, he does. We're keeping it hoppy today. Our bullpen beer, Modern Times Orderville IPA, 7.2%, 75 IBUs, mm. has a 4.12 on Beer Advocate and a 3.96 on Untapped. From the brewery, Orderville is an aggressive, fragrant IPA that blends the fruit forward character of mosaic hops with a resinous stickiness from a melange of dank hops. The resulting beer is immensely rad with an unmistakable banging aroma and a fully saturated hop flavor and finish. The cracker dry body keeps the focus squarely on the massive, incredibly delicious hop character, inviting your taste buds to join a drum circle of flavor in a magical forest of hops. I feel like I should be high to read that. That was <laughs> a little fucking insane. Mm, it's kind of weird. But the beer is pretty tasty. Indeed it is. Yeah. This... To me, uh, in the hop hoppiness, it's like a slight step up from uh, Happy Hops. It is. It's like a nice progression. Correct. You know, if you let your nose kind of hang around in the glass, don't you feel like the um, the smell? I don't know if this is like from improperly washing the, the sour out of the old <laughs> one. Or like I feel like there's like a really strong kind of like alcohol kind of smell to it. You a do smell bit. a little booze in yeah, there, but I don't yeah. taste it. No, you don't. That's scary. But like just kind of <laughs> dipping my nose into the glass. You know, yeah. Not into the beer, but into the glass. I'll say like, you're drinking it wrong. <laughs> yeah. I kind of like, what is this, dude? Like, I'm like, oh, shit. It's going to be strong. And as you drink it, it, no, it's not that strong. Yeah, it's got a little boozy smell, a little bit of a tropical fruit smell. But I, I taste a lot of dank. 
stings the nostrils. <laughs> <laughs> you know, 60% of the time it works every time. <laughs> uh, I, I taste a, a lot of tropical fruit and some danky, sticky, piney resinousness to it. Yeah. Resinousness. And that's what I like about it. Mm-hmm. I feel like this is Dan's kind of beer. Yeah, this is some good stuff. Mm-hmm. I will say it's a little low on carbonation. Yeah, you know, but uh, I feel like it's got a good head on it, though. So mm-hmm. <laughs> Nothing better than a good head. It's got a good head on his shoulders. Yeah. <laughs> We've lost Scott. Yeah. <laughs> almost spit a beer on that one. <laughs> oh, it would little... be the first time. Yeah, <laughs> almost. Yeah. It's a little hazy, too, huh? Yeah, it's got a little haze to it. I, I can't see through it. I can see kind of shadows through it. But right. Yeah, I, I can't see through it. So Interesting. But a little it's, bit of haze going on. really good. I yeah. like it. I enjoy this. And uh, once again, dangerous at 7.2. Oh, yikes. Uh, <laughs> Scott, fan? Love it. Okay. Yeah. Drink a couple. A few. Better than the sour? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> God damn, dude. That's the new standard. Do you got any sour it? left? Yeah. No. Maybe. I want me to go look. I think it was more. rough. Oh, God. Drink some more Sharpie. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit of, oh, my God. A little bit of paint thinner. I just enjoyed watching you guys drink. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you how a man there drinks there. Oh, God. That was... That was rough. <laughs> All right, let's do, let's do a little booze news while we're still coherent. Extra, extra, drink all about it. It's time for booze news. There's a Boston-based alcohol delivery system called Drizzly, and they have just secured another $34.5 million in funding. That's good news for us. Yeah. Hopefully they make their way west. No kidding. I do that. Yes. We want some uh, alcohol, bl- uh, wow, delivery. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we need it. Cut me off. <laughs> uh, I won't get into the details, but there's an article out that the U.S. many many years ago tested nuclear bombs on beer bottles. What? They wanted to see if they could drop a nuke and if it, it could be used in a situation to you know people could still drink it. And they found out you can. Really? Okay. Yeah. They they set up beers at various distances. And I think only like the very closest one to the nuclear bomb was deemed to be undrinkable. I think we tried that last week. <laughs> yeah, we had Beer one. science. Yeah, <laughs> we had one of those nuclear bombs. <laughs> it did have a little fallout in it. <laughs> oh man, you could taste it. You know, I wasn't sure if I should be mad at this president at first, or now I'm like, <laughs> hey, look at this guy watching yeah. out for our beers, right? You know, he wants to know that in times of trouble, we'll be okay. Right? That's Fuck all we're the asking. people, save the yeah. beers. Yeah, That's right. That's what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Uh, Costco. This might be bad news. For, bad news for Scott. Costco Wait, has what? discontinued Kirkland Light. Oh no! Oh shit! <laughs> I think it was twenty two dollars for like a fifty pack or something. Forty eight. Forty eight. Thank you, Scott. You're the hero that we waited for, Scott. We won't ever forget, Scott. Did you buy one or two of those? I oh. have purchased a 48 pack of Kirkland beer, yes. That's funny. In all honesty, how did they taste? Like a... Uh, like a they had to be light ripping somebody off, right? Miller Lite. Yeah. Typical crap beer. Yeah. I imagine. One of the reviews on Rate Beer said something like, tastes like someone drank a bunch of urine or water and then urinated in a bottle. There you go. Bud yeah. Light. Yeah. yeah, pretty much Bud Light. So. <laughs> uh, no more Kirkland Light. I guess they're focusing on their uh, Kirkland Craft Pack. Which is good. Is Ooh. it? Well, to we me. Should, we should have that on the show. We have yet to I have it on the show. Yeah, I'll have to like, pick up another one. Because the the craft pack is like different flavors. Yeah, I think it's like a brown, an IPA, yeah. a double IPA, and, and something else. Interesting. So and I've kinda... purchased uh, one or two of those okay. as well. Yeah. So they're kind of telling Bud Light, take a hike. Yeah. I think it's like 20 bucks for like a 30 pack or yeah, something. Something like 24 yeah. pack. I think, it's a, 20, I think it's a case for like 20 bucks. Or yeah, it's like less that, than a dollar yeah. a beer. It's definitely boozing on a budget. Yeah. Hey. Have you guys seen, so it's probably like a grievance here, <laughs> but have you guys seen those commercials, and I know you have, for Bud Light? The, oh, I know where you're going with yes, this. Yes, where they're, they are directly attacking the craft beer yes. scene right now. He's like, all right, you know, everyone has a Bud Light, and he's like, I'll take a mead. Yeah. Except for a mead for this guy. And he's yeah. like, wait, no, I want a whatever else. He's like, okay, Bud Light for everyone except for blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Yeah, and then the what is the tagline? Like, Bud Light... For, for the many, not for, the few. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, hey. all, all you many's out there. <laughs> hey, tide is turning. Yeah. It's a revolution. 
Yes. It's the kind of shit that made us leave England. <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> That's why the America's here. Quit taxing us. That's right. We're going to drink good beer. Yeah, I love that they're they're outwardly attacking craft beer, but also buying up a bunch of craft breweries and trying to pass them off as craft beer. <laughs> it's like you're also kind of hurting yourself. Right. Yeah, I mean, here's the thing. Somebody, I think it was Jay-Z, said... Um, Oh, geez, I don't even know the quote now. I'm turning into President Bush here. But, uh, <laughs> Mission accomplished. Yeah. <laughs> no, it wasn't that. Which one? <laughs> the younger one. Okay. But uh, I think it was Jay-Z Not said something one. something along the lines of, uh, if you diss me, like uh, it's nothing. But if I diss you, you're a legend. You know oh. what I mean? And I kind of feel like Bud Light, like they're starting to hear the rumble. You know, the big yeah. beer is starting to hear that rumble and and it's been, you know, it's kind of like a little diss rapper just talking shit, talking shit. And now they have to bark back. So, you know, you know, for them to actually acknowledge them, it's got to be trouble. Yeah, that's true. I mean, why else would they care? And also, if they weren't trouble, they'd stop buying them. Yeah. WWE didn't buy, didn't buy WCW because they were a little, full, you know, flea on their ass. They were competition. Yeah. That was a really horrible example. <laughs> Such a nerd. Hey, well, I used hip hop and you uh, used fucking wrestling. So what the fuck? I Both nerds. It. <laughs> yeah, Scott got it. Which is not good. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Speaking of fake craft beer, uh, Taco Bell. Oh yeah, they have these little cantinas they're putting out throughout different cities like New York and stuff, and they have uh, booze at these cantinas. Could you imagine? Like, what else do you need with a Taco Bell taco? <laughs> Jesus, you get a gordita and a beer. Uh, anyways, <laughs> they've teamed up with Blue Point Brewing Company. To create the Big City Bell Pilsner. Oh, shit. Oh, man. Blue Point, of course, owned by Anheuser-Busch. Send that out west. The crappy beer or the Taco Bell? Oh, I got Taco Bell. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just give me the crappy beer. Okay. Uh, yeah, they, uh, they. I guess they couldn't go with any actual craft brewery in New York, so they went with, with the fake one. Mm-hmm. Hey. Speaking of that, I found out last week, you never mix Mexican food with uh, Starbucks. Oh. Very lethal. I could imagine. Yeah. Well, spicy plus spicy coffee. Spicy plus coffee. And then, like, I mean, I was in the living room and maybe a little gas leaked out. Uh, <laughs> and oh, then I went oh. to bed. Oh, and, you trusted it? Oh, well, yeah. I was, trust care- I was very careful. Uh, but later, when my wife went out there and she's like, Did you shit your pants in here? Or whatever happened? <laughs> so, yeah, never never Mexican food and coffee. It's hey. dark in there. <laughs> Consider yourself lucky you still have a sphincter. <laughs> you were playing with fire on that one, man. Literally. <laughs> yeah, it was dangerous. Oh, it man. was dangerous. You're welcome, listeners. That's that's the more you know. Yeah, that's... Well, like, uh, I think it was uh, Chris said on uh, from Enigrin, you know, you don't eat filet mignon on a paper plate. But in this case, you know, I think the crappy big city Bell Pils- Pilsner fills in perfectly with Taco Bell. That's true. It is a match made in... Yeah. Shit heaven. That's right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Got a point there. Mm-hmm. Chris has a point. Yeah. Uh, Miller Coors has sold off their Eden, North Carolina production facility for $2.75 million. Whoa. Um, yeah. Making less beer. This is the whole issue they had with uh, still making, what was it, PBR? Right? Uh, that was the, oh my God, I'm having, I'm drawing blanks now. They were having contract disputes and they're saying, well, we're not making as much beer. We're going to have to sell off facilities. Now they're selling off facilities. Mm. Uh, Blue Moon, this is hilarious, was named the official craft beer oh my what? God. of the Kentucky Derby. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, that you should not be able to call it craft beer if it's indeed not craft beer. Stick to whiskey. <laughs> no kidding. Yeah. Bourbon or whatever in Kentucky. Yeah, who Excuse wants me. to go to the, the Derby yeah. and A, drink a Blue Moon? Yeah. But not have like a, a bourbon drink or there something. You go. That's a bourbon. Isn't like Kentucky Derby, like that's... The first thing you think about if you're going to drink a beverage. Like, oh, you mean the the drink Kentucky Derby? Yeah, there is a Derby drink. Yeah, but I mean, you got bourbon, yeah. Kentucky Derby, bourbon. Yeah. Right, either either like a bourbon drink or like a mint julep or something. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely yeah. not Blue Moon. Come What's on. Going on? on? What's yeah. going on here? They're still in their infancy stages over there, I guess. I, yeah, they haven't caught on yet. You got to <laughs> walk before you can, or you can crawl before you can walk. Something There's, like that. I'm fucking up all these phrases. <laughs> <laughs> you got to walk before you can get hit by get a another bus. beer. Yeah. Let's get to stumble before you can fall. There you get go. Get this man a beer. Uh, Wisconsin's Carbon 4 Brewery. I've never heard of it, but uh, they're recalling some beer. If it was bottled between November 8th and December 31st and you have a Carbon 4 beer, uh, you might want to return it to the brewery. Apparently, there's a problem with the manufacturing of the bottles and uh, glasses getting broken off when they open the caps and then, of course, going into your beverage. But there's not a mouse in it? 
No mouse. Oh. Me. Yeah. Hoser. <laughs> uh, and finally, good news for us. Pizza Hut is expanding their beer delivery. Thank God. Just in time for the Super Bowl. <laughs> Perfect. Yes. So they're uh, trying to hit a thousand stores by mid year, but they're really ramping up in January and uh, trying to get some some Super Bowl delivery out there. The bad news is all they have right now are are big, exactly are crap beer. Well, yeah, probably. This goes back to fil- filet mignon on a paper plate. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That's yeah. The one phrase I got right all day today. <laughs> <laughs> is there a worse pizza than Pizza Hut? Yeah, but they're saving lives. Oh, yeah, you're not having to drive? True yeah. that. That's true, yeah. yeah. Pizza Hut might be the worst pizza out there. It's, uh, yeah. I think so? Well, you know what? Papa John's is worse. Really? Yeah, because they do that stupid shit where they put your toppings under the fucking cheese. Oh. <laughs> like, I don't want to see my toppings like they offend me or something. <laughs> <laughs> what are they, like, covering up their skin? <laughs> the first time I ever ordered Topper, or Papa John, Papa John, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Give this man a beer. First time I ever Papa John's, I would never talk shit about toppers. Uh, right. We called and we were like, hey, uh, we asked for pepperoni and jalapeno or whatever it was. Like, oh, yeah, it's there. Like, no, we're looking at it. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, yeah, we put our toppings under the cheese. Like, who the fuck does that? That That's, is weird. It's weird. It's fu- And it's just they put way too much sauce on their stuff, and their sauce is disgusting. So... Yeah, Papa John's probably the worst pizza. Does anybody else have any uh, votes for I, worst pizza? Little Caesars. Little Caesars is pretty really? bad. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. I, I think I might take it over Papa John's, though, mm. personally. I don't recall a Papa John's pizza. It's bad. Of course, the the local pizzeria we all love around here is Toppers. Toppers. Yeah, yeah, it's the best. Yeah, right. As far as chains go. Yeah. Right. I mean, it's a local chain to us, so people not in uh, the Ventura yeah. County area are like, what are you talking about? Yeah. We're talking about the best fucking pizza ever. <laughs> I have a my best friend whenever she comes back to town that she every time it's toppers she has to make a topper stop. Yeah, I was just there on Sunday because she was in town. Yeah, and I understand there's anyone like listening from like New York or Chicago. Like I get it. You guys <laughs> have the best pizza. That, yes. you know, you, we don't do chains over here. Right, okay, yeah, we yeah. don't do those chains over here. But okay, but we acknowledge <laughs> that. Good that accent. But as far as <laughs> As far as a, ch- a chain, this is really good. Yeah. Really good pizza. It really is. Yeah. we. You might not do chains, but you have 8,000 Tonys. You got like Tony's 1 and Tony's <laughs> yeah, 2 yeah. And, and Tony P's and Tony R's. That's and, right. Yeah. So fuck off with your Tonys. That's right. They're all named Tony. Yeah. Everyone's Tony. That's racist. We mm-hmm. got toppers. Yep. Suck it. That's all I got. Before the New Yorkers come over and fucking kill well, me or something. Yeah, they're going to be our number one listener now. <laughs> Get a load of these guys <laughs> talking about our pizza. Next week, New York's number one. Yeah, right? <laughs> Dan's impression started in New York and turned a little Chicago. <laughs> yeah, I did. Yeah. They're, they're kind of the same a little That's bit. That's true. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, because it ended with a little bit of the dub bears. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> yeah. You're right. It did. <laughs> yeah, almost there. Uh huh. It's a nice little combo. Like you had a baby, like a Chicago <laughs> and in New York. It's careful. You got to be careful too. You don't slip into Boston. Yeah, because that's just embarrassing. Yeah. <laughs> nobody wants to do Boston. No, nobody wants to sound like them. Ugh. At least New York and Chicago have yeah. pizza. Yeah. Was and it? I was insulting New York and Chicago, so you could argue that was a Chicago accent. <laughs> <laughs> Touche. What does Boston have to offer culinary wise? Uh clam chowder. Oh yeah. Oh. They're chowder. big on their chowder. Chowder. Yeah. Chowder. Yeah. They can't have real food. Soup. Right. Yeah. They chowder all over the place. <laughs> Well, that's all they can choke down. Yeah. They're too dumb to chew. <laughs> choke down their chowder. <laughs> Sorry, boss. I was kidding. I was kidding. Every Boston. time, every time nope. they see Larry Bird, they chowder all over the place. <laughs> no. Next week, Boston, number one. Yeah, right? Sorry. So you know we can that was the Laker off. fans talking for me right <laughs> yeah, there. Sorry. I, I got nothing to get. I've never been there. I know what I got to say I hear it's them. a great town. Right. I'd there. like to visit it. Right. Uh, I'd also like to flip off every stadium that they... <laughs> possess right maybe show up in some lakers jerseys (laughs) been there so yeah you know what's fun i feel like i could go to new uh, to new york to boston in a laker jersey and like while there would be some spirited shit talking i don't know that i'd get my ass kicked we're like if dodgers and the giants thing it's gotten a little too violent fuck i don't know man yeah you might especially if it was me in a laker jersey then i'm screwed yeah because you're not of the white (laughs) yeah Uh, yeah They know for certain I'm from here, <laughs> from L.A. Get darky over there. Yeah. Yeah, you I'm would screwed. be screwed. Yeah, you right. Listen to his accent. He sounds retarded. Let's get him. <laughs> 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 when I was in Boston, it was too cold for violence. Oh, so yeah. That was okay. Go in the winter. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It was December, so. Yeah. 
It's got to have some chow to it. Yeah, all the yeah. all the gangsters were inside. True. With their mm-hmm. fires and <laughs> crisscross. No, not crisscross. What's a uh, house of pain? Uh, house of pain. House of pain. That's yeah. right. They were they were stuck inside. <laughs> God, even their gangsters are white over there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no kidding. Yeah, jumping around. <laughs> now that we've offended everybody, <laughs> <laughs> all across the eastern, <laughs> right, eastern seaboard is thoroughly <laughs> pissed off at us. From Chicago to New York, I can't uh, wait to see if they are listening now. <laughs> <laughs> Tweet us. <laughs> oh God, oh, man. show us some How cans. Much you love us. Show yeah. some cans, please. Cans for cans. Hashtag oh, cans for cans. It's like, yeah, it's united up. Mm-hmm. They're yeah. like, yeah, but who's got the World Series? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Thanks for listening, everybody, especially yeah. the East Coast. That's right. Uh, you can find us at theunfilteredgentleman.com. You can tweet us your lovely messages at Unfiltered Gents. I'm sure we'll get many. Uh, other social medias, at the Unfiltered Gentleman. Hey, let us know what team you support out there. 805-538-BEER. Yeah. Sorry, but the charge is about to do your Patriots. Ooh, oh, snap. Oh, man. By the time this goes up, might have already happened. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Sorry about what the Chargers did to your Patriots. Yesterday. Yeah. Or the other day. Two days ago. Yeah. yeah. Okay, we can edit that out. We might need to, <laughs> depending on what happens. Yeah, we'll find out. Yeah. <laughs> Tom Brady's going to make that bonus. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Finally. Finally. Uh, I think that's everything for us. Make sure in the meantime you guys are all staying hydrated. And on that note, good night, everybody. 